welcome to December 29th, the second work day of the week that we call the day of Monday or the day of the moon. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 363 of the year 2008. Now let's grab our Bibles so that you can read chapter and verse along with me. Also write these chapter and verses down so that you can study the whole context of what we're talking about. Okay, let's open them up to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17. Understanding what the will of the Lord is. That's something we have to understand what His will is. Not our will, but the Lord's will. Okay, let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. This is the will of God, even your sanctification. Now let's turn over to Job chapter 22 and verse 21. If you're going, or if I'm going too fast, for you to open up your Bibles and find the chapter and verse. What you should do is use the pause button. I think it's down over on this side. Use the pause button so that you have a chance to go along. And it's best if you do read it along with me. Job chapter 22 and verse 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. John chapter 17 and verse 3. This is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Now let's turn back to 1 John chapter 5 and verse 20. We know that the Son of God is come, and have given us an understanding that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Now, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9 we read, We do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 17 through 19. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceedingly greatness of his power to uh, us word who believe. Final blessedness of the believer. Joys of the kingdom are satisfying. Psalms chapter 17 verse 15 I will behold thy face in righteousness I shall be satisfied when I wake with thy likeness Oh when awakened by thy care thy face I view thy image bear how shall my breast with transport glow with full delight my heart overflow. In God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. His a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Glory to God whose sovereign grace. Luke chapter 3 and verse 8. God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Brethren, are you finishing the year following the Lord? Or you keep saying, oh, well, I would like to go like them other guys. 
I would like to be able to follow the Lord in His narrow path. Brethren, get down on your knees and repent and say, Now is the time that I should change my ways. I shall follow the narrow path of the Lord as found in Matthew 7.13. And that will lead to eternal life. Nothing, nothing else will. You cannot find follow the broad path because the Bible says that's trying to be a thief and go over the wall. It won't work. The only way to eternal life is through our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, brethren, if you, as I say, if you really want to change, get down on your knees and repent and ask the Father and the Son. And if you truly want to change in your heart, they will hear you and give you the wisdom of understanding. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great a wonderful day, I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.